it is real bad that people are speeding here on this road and especially when they get to the top of the hill. Urchina Carter says enough is enough with the speeding in Gate City. I said 50, 60 in this area. Balloons blow in the wind at the memorial for Amir Savage across the street from Carter's house. Police say the eight year old boy was killed when a driver crashed into him as he was chasing a ball on his scooter near Lewis Park. He was a sweet, a fun for a little scooter. So he loved to tease and jump and have a good time. The driver was not charged and police say speeding was not a factor. But Carter says something needs to be done and the Birmingham Housing Authority says they're working on it. The Housing Authority and the city plan on putting up concrete barriers along majority of these 19 streets here in the neighborhood. Blocking off some of the entry points into Mark's Village will help uh, make the communities a little safe, make the community safer by blocking off some entry points and forcing people to slow down when they drive in and out of these communities. I think they would be blessed if they did that. The Housing Authority pitched the idea to the city three months ago, and this week it plans on meeting with the city planning department before presenting it to city council. A proposal Carter hopes the council will vote yes. All this trouble that happened in Gay City is not the resident area. It's people that come in from somewhere else. Gay City hadn't been this bad. I lived here 40 years, and I have never seen this bad in my life. In Gate City, Marley Martinez, WBTM 13.